Fuji Gong, there are yeah. many styles. Yes, yes, styles. yes, yes So, yes. The, what? Th this is the 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 first the origin. Yeah. The, so, the, the, how I learned this? I learned mm -hmm. this from uh, a fellow uh, a Universal Healing Dao instructor called Michael Wind. Uh, he was the one who introduced me to this form, you know, and he learned it from a, a very old Chinese uh, gentleman who uh, was the first one actually to introduce this to the public, you know, and his name was Zhu Hei. He died in, I think, 1997. And so um, Zhu Hei said that this form was passed down in secret from the creator of Tai Chi, which was someone called Chan San Fan. Mm -hmm. And so Tai Chi, as you probably know, is a, is a martial art, you know, it's, it's where the energy comes up from the earth, you know, and mm -hmm. it comes out, you know, mm -hmm. so the energy is moving up from the earth and you, you're transmuting it through your body and it comes out. Mm -hmm. Whereas Wu Gong is about taking the energy back in. It's about uncovering what's inside. So it's a, mm -hmm. it's a spiritual form of Tai Chi. Sometimes we call it primordial Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. And so this form was designed for enlightenment or to, to uncover those deeper dimensions inside of us. Mm -hmm. So it has a very pure lineage and um, you know what most people experience, even complete beginners, when they start to practice this, even after the first time they practice is they start to connect with this pure love, this peace of the soul inside, you know. So it's my mission to really educate people because it's so easy to learn. You can learn it in, uh, you know, in, in a couple of hours, you know, and then you have it for life, for you life. know. And it will start to open up this connection with your, with your true self, your true center, the love in your heart, you know, and, uh, and it will start to balance your worldly life and your spiritual life. It will start to bring them together. So this is my bigger mission. I want people to start to bring their daily life and their spiritual ideals together into an integrated whole. And I think that's the biggest challenge we all have, is how to bring these, this into, into truth and into reality in, in our daily life. You know.